he fly to center. I'm assuming that's Kessler up there, right, Gary? Okay, he's got the long sleeve shirt, sweatshirt on. Well, I tell you, I don't blame him. I have one on and do have one on <laughs> myself. So the pitch is upstairs. One ball, no strike. South Union Township Sports Network coverage right here on Helicon Channel 5. John Cazares with Jerry Dupay. I want to thank the Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rock Cove, and Tom Frankhauser. And, of course, Helicon Cable Systems under the direction of Mr. Craig Tomchek. Pitch coming. Swing and a foul. Oh, that's got to hurt a little bit. Bob Prince used to say, got a sore puppy down there right there. He fouled that one right down into his foot. Take a little bit of time there. <laughs> Pitch upstairs. Uh, Kessler shakes off the effects of that foul tip. And he got underway. Swentoski went down on strikes. I think we're looking at 3-1 right now. Downstairs, so Rambo gives up the walk. The ring up Jake Speck, the big guy. Went down on strikes the first time. Into the windup. And the pitch coming. Bunted it and fouled it back into the net. On deck, Lee Edenfield. Rambo has struck out one, two, three, four, five on the night. Struck out the side in the second, got one in the first inning. And got out of a jam with the help of a double play back in the third inning. There's a snap throw down there, safe. Back in inning number three, Ramey let off with a walk, got the second. And then the third, Matthew King got him home. And Rachel Williams got a board on a fielder's choice. And then Billy Dyke lined into a double play. Pitches upstairs. They're going to be, oh, if he comes quick with it, he had a shot at him. Charlie Matusi. Count now. Two balls, one strike. Coming out of there. Getting ready to make the play. Into the windup. Swing, foul pick. They'll have to go back. Kind of even up 2-2 two -two now. As we said, the dimensions, 200 down the line in right field, 230 or to the deepest part of the park. That's in right center. It's a flagpole just to the left of the scoreboard. 212 down the line. I'd say about 220 to left center and dead center. So swing and a miss, strike three. Runner hustles on down to second. Stolen base there, two down, and it'll bring up Lee Edmondfield. <coughs> We're in the fourth. Two more to go. 3-1 ball game. So Edenfield with a base hit right here. Makes this a one-run ball game. Well-played game. Good defense on both sides and a couple of timely base hits. Into the windup and the pitch. Pitch gets away. So now you got the runner even closer. Down to third and Budner puts the tag on late. One ball, no strikes. Two down. Inning got underway with Swentoski going down on strikes. Kessler drew a walk. He's over at third. Speck went down on strikes. And now, Edenfield with a chance. Let her high. Outside corner. Count will even up now. The ball and the strike. One ball, one strike. Budner at third. Polito at short. Martin at second. And McDuffie over here at first. Rambo into the windup. Swing and a miss. Edenfield behind in the count to Rambo. Into the windup and Rambo's pitch. Got away. Going to be a play at the plate. The snap throw in. He's safe. Good heads up running. Bobby Kessler 
makes it a 3-2 ball game. That'll bring up Lee Edenfield. Edenfield, even up in the count. Two balls, two strikes, 3-2 ball game. Been a good one. Three in the first inning, and since then, that's been it for the Pirates. The Brewers have pecked away. Got one in the third, one here in the fourth. 2-2 pitch coming. Rambo, into the windup. Oh, yeah. Strike three called. He got the side on strikes, but the walk hurts him. No runs. No hits, a walk, no errors, and got to run home. So we've gone through four now. Three two your score as we move to the top of the fifth. Pirates on top. Good look right there at Ross Gerard moving in behind the plate, getting set as we move now to the fifth. Dice gets the strike. Evens up the count. One ball, one strike. Billy working his second inning right now. In the wind up. Strike two called. Inside corner. Back him out of there. Known that guy for quite a while. Ross Gerard has done so much for the kids here in the area. Coach at Hutchison uh, Midget League football team for many years. Had a nice interview with him two football seasons ago. Our first year covering uh, Midget League football here. Ross has been most cooperative uh, through the last couple of seasons with the basketball program. He's been pretty much the guy in charge down there as far as scheduling, uh, league organization, and most cooperative. We appreciate all the help he's given us. There's a shot at short and nice play. Big Jake with the grab. Nice catch by Jake Beck as he was able to catch that one right on the button. Kalen Polito just hit a rocket right there. Kalen with the line shot to short and he has hit the ball well today. Polito has doubled and singled and a couple of RBIs and hit that one probably as hard as he's hit anything here today. Oh. We got a man going to first. Charlie Matusi <coughs> got flunked. So hit by a pitch. And will bring up Eric Budner, who was singled. Matusi has grounded out, walked, and now aboard on the hit by a pitch. So he's okay. And will bring up Mayakovic. Now let's take a look. That's Eric Budner, right? I'm sorry. Budner has singled and fly to second. Into the windup, fan the pitch. Ground ball towards short and on in through for a base hit. Wilson will cut it off and a solid base hit by Budner. Puts runners at first and second. Taking a look right there at your shortstop. Jake Speck, Peter Davis at third, Lee Edenfield in the blue jersey at second and Ramey over here at first. Left fielder, I believe that's Swintoski, the left-hander. Wilson, Matthew King, and Rachel Williams. Bunch through it. Bunted right through it. No balls, one strike. Chris Mayakovic has walked and got a board on a fielder's choice. Dice into the windup. Bunts it again. Foul. No balls, two strikes. Fifth inning, 3-2 ball game. First game of the year. We'll be bringing these to you weekly. Whoa. Close pitch. Just away. One ball, two strikes. One, two, your count. Time called. A little group strategy. <laughs> Not to be left out of it. Justin Rainey gets in just as it breaks up. So whatever that was said there, I don't think Justin uh, got too much of it. So here we go. Time called again. Now we got to get the bat out of there again, guys. Ross Gerard right on top of things. Mayakovic behind in the count. And the wind up and the pitch. 
Strike three. So he goes down. We got a runner hung up? No. Getting back. So Mayakovic down on strikes for the second out. Brings up DJ Mancini. DJ has popped to the catcher. And Watt has some good power. And Dyke fires inside. One ball, no strikes count. Runners lead away at second and first. Mancini digs in the pitch. <coughs> Downstairs, 2 0. Mike Martin, the faller. Into the wind up. Strike call. Two balls, one strike. In the wind up. Mixed up there, full count. Mike Martin, the faller. Inning got underway. Polito line to short. Fine play by Speck. Then Matusi hit by a pitch. Budner singles. Miakovic down on strikes. And now DJ draws the walk to load him up. Play at any base is right. Dustin Ramey yelling out. And Mike Martin to the plate. Martin has bounced out and has drawn a walk. So an opportunity here to uh, get some additional runs home and increase that one run lead. Martin digs in, hit, missed upstairs, ball one. One ball, no strike. One ball, no strike to count. On Mike Martin, he digs in, dice to the mound. Strike call, outside corner, knee high, count evens up at one and one. And set into the windup, swing and a foul. We are in the fifth inning, 3-2 ball game. Game just a little past an hour and 15 minutes. And the pitch. Strike three call. Big, big strike out there. And base is left full again. No runs. A base hit, an air, and a hit by a batter. Three. He has and Monahan spend a lot of spare time involved with their community, teaching kids about the law inspiring young soccer players and nurturing family values. Maybe that doesn't make us the best known law firm in southwestern Pennsylvania, but then maybe it should. Radcliffe, D. Hans, and Monaghan, the right law firm makes the difference. Josh Rambo still on the hill, works now into the fifth inning, leading three to two. He'll go to Wilson, Dieter Davis and Ramey. Justin, a strikeout victim first time around. It's coming. Good cut. No balls, one strike. Second one coming. Mitch downstairs. Count even up at a ball and a strike. Got McDuffie over here at first. Mike Martin at second. Polito over at short, and Eric Budner, your third baseman. Count even, one ball, one strike. Uh, Jack Wilson in the coaching box down at third. One ball, two strikes. Looking down for a signal down at third, and two strikes on, you're on your own. Ooh, close call. 2-2. Two -two. Like the game that Ross has called here so far today. He has done a fine job. Kept the game moving. He and Matt Scavere and swing and a miss. Strike three. So J.W. Wilson. Justin down on strikes. One down to Dale Dieter Davis. Davis down on strikes in his first plate appearance. Just the one base hit. 
allowed, and that was Matthew King, single up the middle. Swing and a miss, strike one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strikeouts so far. Another windup and the pitch. Strike two. So Davis behind any count now. Impressive thing so far has been the control that Rambo has exhibited. A lot of these games take a, have a ton of walks, but not here today. Looking down through here, I think he's given up one walk, two walks, and that shows you exactly what a walk will do to you. He's only allowed two runs, and both runs that scored were put on by way of the walk. <coughs> Into the windup, the one, two, 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 just a bit high. Two balls, two strikes. He rang him up. Two down to Justin Ramey. Justin drew a walk. Got the third on a stolen base pass ball and came around on Matthew King. Ripping single up the middle. Got a problem with the headgear again. So have to get rid of the hat. There's Ross Girard. In control as he sends Justin back. Now he's set. Justin Ramey, the left fielder. Walked and scored. Wing and a miss. So Rambo settling in nicely. Nine strikeouts. Looking for double digits right here. Josh is pitched. Missed inside. Got one in the first. Three K's in the second, that's four. <coughs> With the help of the double play, none in the third. Picked up three more for seven, three, four, and two here in this inning. Missed away. Two balls, one strike to count. Into the wind up, and missed upstairs. So three one. This is a combination. The last uh, time around, when Ramey drew a walk, got on board, then scored on Matthew King's base hit, and Matthew up on deck, ready to go at it again. It's three one. It's in the dirt, and that got him. I don't know if he's hit by a pitch or a walk, but he's aboard. So Matthew to the plate. Drives in. Boy, he had some good cuts the last time and got a ringing base hit. So let's see if they send. What they want to do, I'm sure, is get Ramey into scoring position. Matthew digs in. Doing a little ground scooping there. He's set now. Wants it just the way he wants it. And here it is. Swing and a miss. Took the cut to throw on down. Going to skip out in the right field. And a good job by Mike Martin to back up. So the table has been set. Matthew King is set now. This combination got the run home back in the third inning. So Matthew with that good cut looks down at third. He's ready. Into the windup and missed upstairs. Count evens up now. The ball in the strike. One ball, one strike. One and one, your count. So into the windup and the pitch. Whoa, little chin music. Down he goes. Is the play at third? There will be none. So Justin Ramey, right down there at third again. Last time this uh, scenario, a base hit followed. So 2-1 to count on Matthew King. He strides in. And the pitch. Strike two. I think Matthew wishes he had that one back. Count even up. Two, two. And the pitch. Missed. He's coming for the plate. And he's in. We got a tie ball game. Tie ball game. 
So that'll tie her up at three now. So Rambo has given up three walks, and the three walks are the only three men that have come home to score. So full count now. Charlie Matucci with the flip throw and couldn't connect. So here's the pitch. Matthew hits the ground ball up for a second. Good wood again. Martin spins it on, and that'll do it. Matthew King grounds out to second. No run, or excuse me, one run, rather, on no hits. A walk, no errors, and... These young people are the key to our future. The law firm of Davis & Davis is proud to support the youth of the communities where we live and work. Davis & Davis is committed to Fayette County's future leaders, the children, who offer all of us a world of promise. This is now defensively for the Brewers, uh, Bobby Kessler on the hill. Justin Wilson moves in behind the plate. Dice moves to left center, and Kristen Olesic, who was in, I believe, the previous inning in place of Rachel Williams, is out in right field. So here we go, top of the six, tied at three, inside. Ball one. It'll be Umble, and then the top of the order, Adam Umble. First appearance went down on strike. Second pitch popped up, and this one may drop. Oh, big sigh of relief and a big smile as Dieter Davis made the play. One up, one down. With Brandon Collins up. Brandon Collins, who has walked, grounded out, walked and scored in his three trips to the plate. Strike call. So Kessler heating it up. Got some activity down the left field side. Into the wind up and the pitch. Strike two. Two we got warming up down there. Might be Kalen, and it is. Kalen Polito. 3-3 three, three ball game. We're in the sixth. In the windup and the pitch. Just a little high. One ball, two strikes to count. I think that's Brandon Collins. He's got the jacket on. Missed upstairs. Josh McDuffie on deck. Josh Rambo to follow. Into the wind up. Off the 2-2. Two -two. And strike three. Two down. That'll bring up McDuffie. McDuffie to the plate. Has singled and scored. Popped the short and went down on strike. Good stick now to plate with Rambo to follow. So you are where you want to be. Three, four, five hitters. Pitch inside. Jerry, looks like we've got the possibility of extra innings on our first game of the year. Pitch coming. Inside. 2-0. Looking to get a runner aboard. Try and get him down to second and let your four or five hitters do the job. Into the wind up. There's the ground ball back up to the mound. Nice play. Kessler will spin it on for the third out to Ramey. And we'll go to the bottom of the six now. We're tied. Right, when you'll need an attorney, where do you go? Cauldron Adams, the law firm with over 30 years' experience in many areas, including corporate, estate planning, personal injury, and real estate law. The legal and professional staff of Cauldron Adams promises to provide quality and timely service in a friendly yet professional manner. For the times you need legal representation, turn to the law firm offering over 30 years of experience to southwestern Pennsylvania. Turn to Cauldron Adams. Okay, Kristen Alessi to the plate. Is that her dad coaching down at first? Okay. 
That's Michael Lester coaching down here at first, and he's got to be proud of the Peacock right here as his daughter strides in here, Kristen. Count evens up now. Count even up now. One ball, one strike. Into the wind up. Strike two. So, Rambo ahead in the count. Top of the order to follow. And strike three called. One down. And there's the dad right there. As we go to the top of the order, Billy Dice has popped it short and lined into a double play. So he's made good contact. Got some good sticks coming up right now to go against Rambo and a run here wins it. Into the wind up. Oh, went after one out of the zone, but a good hack. No balls, one strike. Into the windup, and the pitch coming. It's the way. One ball, one strike. He got him. That's what I thought. Nipped him there. So Billy Dice hit by a pitch. And you know you're going to be running here. Anything that gets past the catcher, you might even consider sending him down. So A.J. Swintoski, who has gotten aboard on an air and struck out. Jack Wilson in conference right here. We're ready to roll now as we move to the second spot in the batting order. A.J. Swintoski with Kessler to follow. So you know Dice with good speed, ready to go at any time, and there's one up and in and trying to get out of the way. Rambo got a break there as the ball was fouled off. One ball, or excuse me, no balls, one strike. Boy, Josh is pitched with Icewood here. Lays it down and foul. So he's deep in a hole now at 0-2. No balls, two strikes to count. Into the wind up. Strike three, he's going down. Do we gotta strike him out, throw him out? We do not, so the winning run is at second base. So Bobby Kessler can Win the ball game for himself right here because Bobby did come in to pitch the top of this inning. Base hit could win it. Jeff Rambo coming out of there. Three, three, six inning, two down. Winning run down at second base. Bobby Kessler with a chance right here. And the wind up in the pitch. Right call to so Rambo. Who has 10, 11 strikeouts right now. Good stick up here in Kessler. It's in the dirt, and that should move the runner up to third. He's coming to throw down. He's in. So he got the winning run down at third base now. Winning run could do it. I mean, uh, pass ball, wild pitch could do it. You know he's got to come off the bag a little. So Budner at third, Polito at short, Martin at second, McDuffie at first. Count even at a ball and a strike. Kessler with an opportunity right here. Another conference. Pitch coming. Upstairs. 2-1. I don't know if they're going to intentionally walk him. I don't think there is such a thing in this league. 2-1, but he did let that one go a little high. Is that what they're doing? They are. They're going to walk him. Okay, let's see what the call is. 
I don't think you have an intentional walk in this league. I really don't. Kessie's got to get down and set, and they did walk him. Is that 3-1? We got time out. Now what are we going to do? We're going to talk it over here. Boy, we've had more strategy sessions here than uh, Jim Leland and Sparky Anderson would go at it, Jerry. So after all the meetings, all the strategy discussed, we're set in the pit. Oh, try to get that one out of the zone. But uh, good job there by Kessler as he took a rip at one. So the count is full now, 3 2. I think Jack told him he's anywhere near hack at it. So 3 2 your count. Kessler gets down and set as he throws it outside. There's a ground ball for short. Picked up the throw over. Nice play, Galen Polito to McDuffie. We're going extra inning. Our firm of John and John, located at 96 East Main Street, is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth and high school athletic events. Attorneys Simon B. John and John McDiver, Mary Campbell Spigar, and founder Bernard T. John have provided legal assistance to Fayette County residents since 1968. Long a sponsor of local athletics and other youth activities in the Union Town area, the attorneys and their support staff, Kathy Seiske, Robin Hill, and Pamela Kahn, want to extend best wishes to all of the area athletic teams and their coaches and wish them well on an outstanding season. Office hours for John and John are 9 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Monday through Friday with evening appointments and Saturday appointments also available upon request. The phone number for John and John is 438-8560. Right side and foul. Out of play. Josh Rambo leading it off here. Kaylin Polito and Charlie Matucci. So you've got some good sticks right here. Into the windup. Kessler and his pitch. Oh, there's the lead run going down to first. Hit by a pitch. So Rambo aboard. And bring up Kaylin Polito. So there's your lead run. Polito made the clutch play on the ground ball to short. To the plate now. And a wind up and runner going through. This one going to drift in the center field. No, nice play by Edenfield. It got it off. So there's your lead run. <coughs> Down at second. Ball one to Polito. Matusi to follow. Wentoski. Dice. King, and there's one getting past. We're going to get the one down, the runner down to third. So Rambo down at third. Polito ahead in the count now. No, 1-1 one, one your count. Okay, Kalen Polito. And uh, Kessler works. And the pitch. There's a ground ball. This should get the run home, and it will. Base hit. And on into center field. So Polito making the defensive play. To snuff out the rally in the last half inning, singles right here. Gonna ring up Charlie Matusi now. Matusi has rounded out, walked, and got a board hit by a pitch. Polito now three for four, double, two RBIs, an RBI right there. He has singled and lined to short, so he has hit the ball really hard. Into the windup now, Kessler. Working here to Matusi, and he's taken off to throw on down, close but in. So Polito down at second, represents an insurance run. Charlie Matusi to fall, uh, Charlie Matusi rather at the plate. Count up on the scoreboard, three and one. Butner on deck, winging a hacking foul by Charlie. <coughs> I think this is Matusi down the third base line up in the stands. Teaches in the Laurel Highlands district. Pitch in the dirt, gets away, going to get a runner down to third. 
Okay, so the scoreboard was wrong. It's 3 1 now. I'll tell you, it is cold. Ball four gets away, and that'll put runners at first and third. So Matusi on the base on ball. Brings up Eric Budner. He has two singles and a pop up in two appearances. Kessler on the hill. Runners at first and third, and Rambo coasting down at third. Yeah. Pitches a called strike and off and running. Matusi eases into second. Ball gets away. It's going to be a play at the plate. Edenfield's throw gets away. Runner will go to third. So a run in. Two run lead now. Budner at the plate. Make it now a 5 3 ball game. Into the windup, and the pitch coming. Inside, backed him out of there. Down even up now, one ball, one strike. Kessler working in his second inning, I believe, and the pitch. Hammering foul off the bat of Eric Budner. I'll tell you what, Jerry, got to be about 40 degrees. Oh. Say right now, there's a ground ball towards short. Picked up there by Jake, and he guns it on to Ramey. Nice play by Sweat as he makes the play for six to three. And the run scores, of course, on the ground out. <coughs> Negative three run ball game. Bring up Mayakovic. Wing and a miss. Chris says walk. Got a board on a fielder's choice and went down swinging. And the pitch. Inside, back him out of there. I'm assuming Kalen Polito is going to be the pitcher coming in. He is down the left field line, loosening up. And the pitch. Strike two call. We're in the top half of inning number seven. We got a six-three ball game here, and popped up into the netting. Three in the first, three here in the seventh. So it's been a gap of five innings between, in which uh, the Pirates were held scoreless. Collins with a walk, McDuffie a single, Rambo a single, Polito a, a double, and a ground out by Matusi. Got him three in the first. And here in this inning, Rambo hit by a pitch, Polito with a base hit for an RBI. Matusi scored on the ground out by Budner. And the pitch in behind him. So, walk, and that'll bring up DJ Mancini. Into the windup. Strike called. He's going down. The throw coming through. And on the stolen bait, Miakovic topples into second. Strong throw that time by Justin Wilson. <coughs> Into the windup and the pitch. Strike two. DJ tied up that time. Yeah, popped up. Walked twice. Good power. Oh, just missed upstairs. One ball, two strikes to count. And there's a ground ball towards short. Back coming up, going to third. No, didn't have a play anywhere. Slowly hit ball, a base hit. Runners now first and third to Mike Martin. Walked and struck out. Pitch away. And the runner will hustle down to second. 
to make it 6-3 and a chance right here with a base hit to really open it up. See if he might be bunting. Here's the pitch. Ball high. Two balls, no strike. Kessler on the hill. <coughs> Trying to find the plate right here. And the wind up. This one gets away. And everybody holding up. So Martin ahead in the count. 3-0. Mike Martin. Looking to take one right here for ball four. Kessler wind, pump, and in the dirt. So they're loaded up. They are loaded up for Humble, and we've got timeout. Big Ice has come back on the mound. Kessler's moved to short, and Jake has gone out to left center. Swing and a miss. Humble with a good cut. One down. We're in the seventh, top half of, and we've got a 6-3 ball game. Strike two, so Dyke throwing the smoke. Gets two in a hurry. Brandon Collins on deck. And the wind up. There's a ground ball. This is going to be a tough play. Edenfield up, throws, got him. So the run scores. Fine play by Edenfield. Humble got the run home, gets the RBI. Scored four to three, and the run scores. Four in the inning to go with three in the first, make it a 7-3 ball game. Top of the order now in Brandon Collins. Good piece of hitting that time by Humble. Strike one, Brandon Collins. Walked and scored, grounded the first, walked and went down swinging. I think Kalen Polito will be coming in the pitch. Here's Miss downstairs. Count even up now. <coughs> I think it's one and one. Scoreboard shows those two. Into the wind up. Miss. Two balls, one strike to count. Ross Gerard behind the plate. Matt Scavera working the diamond. Out near second right now as he works the bases. Pop up right side, Edenfield back. This is going to pop and we'll get two runs home. Edenfield throw up the line and another run will, runner will move up a base. So Brandon Collins couple of RBIs and this one now being put out of reach I would think one two three four five six in the inning make it nine to three and that my friends will bring up McDuffie who has singled lined out struck out and bounced out and here we go Into the windup comes Dice and the pitch. Ball and the runner will move up. One ball, no strikes to count. Into the windup. There's a shot for second. Edenfield, nice play. Guns it on to Ramey and Edenfield with a couple of nice plays in the inning. Retires the side, but a big one as the Pirates play six. Located in the Continental Plaza on Sand the Pit. Look out, Jerry! I tell you. Woo! I tell you, we're going to get one eventually. Uh, I tell you, I did a game of Mount Pleasant, LH Mount Pleasant ball game a few years, or in a playoff game at Mount Pleasant, rather, and we took one right in the. Uh, Press box down there. Press box there on the first base dugout, just as we are situated here. And I tell you, that baby came through, knocked out a section of wall. <coughs> and the pitch. Oh, rock. Close pitch. 
2-2. Ross Gerard behind the plate. Jake's back. Digging in. And the pitch coming from Butner to Jake. Did he stay alive? He did. No, I think I tell you what he got, and I agree with good call. Catcher's interference. Catcher's interference. Good call. You could hear it up here. He tipped the the glove tipped the bat. So catcher's interference. Puts the runner on and brings up Lee Edenfield, who's 0 for 2 on the night. Looking for his first base hit. <coughs> Digging in against Budner. So Budner jumped out ahead. Strike call. No balls. One strike to count. Another wind up in the pitch. Strike two. Edenfield behind in the count. Wilson to follow. Davis, Ramey, and King. After that, the two-strike pitch coming now to Edenfield. He's digging in. Batting gloves on both hands. Into the windup and the pitch. Hammering foul, so he stays alive, staying alive. That's the plate. Strike pitch coming now. Set and the pitch. Pop foul. Right side taking some shots at it here. One below us, one above us. They're zeroing in on it. And the pitch in the dirt. Nice stop. Charlie Matucci smothered it. That would be no threat to go, I wouldn't think, down six, unless that ball just clearly gets away and starts bouncing around. Oh, he's hanging in. That's another kick foul. Battling back, battling hard, and the pitch. There's a drive deep to left center field. This one will one hop the fence right at the East Key Muffler sign, and a ringing double by Edenfield. He bangs one off uh, the fence in left center. So that'll bring up Justin Wilson. Peter Davis to follow. Ready? And Justin Wilson to the plate. Swing and a miss. Butner's thrown strike. <coughs> it was so close to getting a couple of strikeouts. Uh, Beck was put aboard on catcher's interference with a two strike count. And then the double by Edenfield on two strikes after he had hammered uh, a couple of fouls. So again, he's out in front. O2. No quit in this Brewers team. They're battling right to the wire here, right to the end. And the pitch. There's strike three. One down. Justin down on strike. That'll bring up Vita Davis. Did he get him a second? Close. Almost got Edmund Field. Straying off a little too far. Dieter Davis to the plate. The thing I like about Budner, he's throwing strikes. The only thing that really put this ball club in a hole would be walk. And there's strike one. No balls, one strike. Butner settling in. Pitch coming. Strike two. Runners moving up a base. No. 
No balls, two strikes. Down at third, Jake Speck over at second. Lee Edenfield, who is doubled. Just two hits in the game for the Brewers. Matthew King has the other one. And the pitch. In the dirt, nobody going anywhere. Play it safe indeed. First base coach, Mr. Alessic, saying play it safe. And that is indeed true. That run down there doesn't mean a thing. You're down six. You don't want the tag play at the plate. And it's downstairs. 22. 2-2 two, two the count. <coughs> On deck is Ramey. Time called. Equipment adjustment. 2-2 as Eric Budner looking to gun it by. Oh, it's high. Full count. Two pitch coming, and second out of the inning. Brings up Justin Ramey, who has walked twice and scored twice. Matthew King on deck. Into the windup now comes Butner, and the pitch. Right call, Ross Gerard rings it up. Good job by Ross. Good job by Matt Scavera on the bases here tonight. First time we've seen these guys work out here. Second one coming. The 0-1 as Budner. Trying to hold on to it for uh, Polito. Excuse me, for uh, Rambo. Rambo at third. Polito at short. Martin at second. And Josh McDuffie. Over here at first, into the windup, <coughs> Matthew King on deck. Wing and a miss, we're down to the last strike of the ball game. 